Hello everyone. Today we're gonna be talking about some dates. All right. So many of the time it will happen that you, when you get the date values, looking something like this. So don't worry. These are not the numbers, but these are actually dates stored like numbers, right? So the data type will be numeric, and the values in it would also look like numbers. But if you observe this date, for example, so then. let me make it little bigger so that it will be clear so then first two digits these two digits are nothing but day next two digits are nothing but month and then next four digits are years so in total it makes a date which is 15th jan 2022 all right so this is a date value but that's stored like numbers which usually happens you will get this kind of data at least i get this kind of data now what exactly we want to achieve is we want to convert that look like this how we can do that that's the thing which we going to learn today so there are two ways of doing this number one the long way which is using mdy function and then the other one is shortest way which is using the format i am going to explain both of these two one by one stay with the video till the end and you would love this thing okay let me take you to the sas window and explain it to you in detail well so here we are in sas window let me first show you the data proc print data which i have is in work libraries and which i named as dates if i show it to you the data looks something like this this is exactly what i was showing you all right now let me explain you the long method how can we convert it okay now let's create a data set which is called data testing and set i'm going to say dates all right and i'm going to create a new date and in that how we going to do this how we going to achieve this like i said we can convert this using mdy function mdy is nothing but that's the month day and year m stands for month d is day and y is year so we going to use mdy function and we going to supply these three values separately so first we will have to separate month then uh, first we will have to separate these two months then date and then year so if you see the first two digits are date and then next two digits are month and then last four digits are year so we going to separate that first right let's go ahead and separate that how can we separate that first thing we going to do is make a column for month so how can we do that we can do that using sub str function sub str all right and in that we going to supply the value which is nothing but dates okay so the column name is date not the dates let me show it to you over over here it's date so in this we want to separate the value starting from third digit and we want to take two digits out of that but the problem over here is this particular columns data type is numeric and sub str always works on character variable so for that what we're going to do is we're going to convert this using put statement so put statement and then variable name and then supply the format so we are not sure what the format is so i am just going to use based dot all right now this is sorted and let's run this and see it step by step how it's looking like oops nothing happened why why is it so let's try and investigate this because we need to print testing table and not the dates table so let's run this and here you don't get the month why is that happening let's investigate that again so what we can do is we gonna say so the problem over here is when you do this kind of conversion it takes some spaces in between so to eliminate that what i am going to do is i will be using compress function just outside of this conversion okay and now if i run this particular thing 
what's gonna happen is you're gonna get the month value so if you see over here this is the month value we got it right but the problem is it's the character so again we're gonna convert this back to the numbers so you know to convert anything into number we're gonna use the input statement and what is the format that we're gonna use is this is very important you're gonna use z2 format or you can say z2 format all right so this will this will prefix zero before the numbers which let's say if there is a month let's say january january has single digit okay so but this will keep zero one instead of one instead of saying one okay so for now you just understand that you have to keep z2 now you can see that it is keeping only one this is because we are working in sas on demand this is pretty smart and so this will not give you any problem when you convert it to a complete date right but when you if you are working in sas easy or in and any other version you just ensure that you always use z2 format okay now this month is separated using the same technique what we're gonna do is we're gonna create dates and years as well okay so here i would say day and here i would say year all right and now what i will do is this starts from day is the character starting from first till two and year is the something which is starting from fifth and last four digit okay so here the format will be changed to z4 or z4 okay so now we have month days and years separated let's run this so if you see over here like you can see month day and year are separated all that you need to do now is just use the mdi function mdy function all right new date equals to mdy and in that first you're gonna supply month and then you're gonna supply day and then you're gonna supply year and once you do this then after that it's gonna convert this particular value in sas numbers sas date numbers but because we have to see in date 9 format so what we're gonna do is we're gonna format supply a format to this particular thing which is nothing but the new date variable and that format is going to be date 9 and now if you just execute this particular thing you're gonna get that result Woo! it just worked interesting isn't it all right so this was the long way of doing this particular thing there is a shortest way how can we do that so let me create that particular thing as well right so in that what we're gonna do is we will say new date 2 and in that first we're gonna convert this into the character the same way date and it has eight digits so we're gonna put eight then we're gonna convert this in numeric all right and this time we're gonna supply the format which is the the format of course if you check it out over here first do this our date then month and then year so what format will be will be dd mm yy and it has eight digits so we're gonna put eight now this is done all right and if you execute this particular thing again what you see is the sas date numbers okay now all that you need to do is you know what you need to do okay so for that you're gonna supply format date 2 as date 9 all right and you just execute this oh you got that damn you got that converted so isn't it the shortest one right so this is the shortest one i'm sure you're gonna like this and you're gonna practice this thing only this is the longer way but here you learn to separate month day year and then supply so if this doesn't work this will always work so i just hope that you like this thing i highly encourage you to go ahead and try this as much as you can and then let me know in the comment section how did it help you how what all are what all are the errors that you get and i will definitely try to solve your problems in case you get any doubt until then happy learning wish you very all the best